Hello, I'm Sharon. In this video, I'm going to show you what's new in the recently released Modelio 3.7. I'm currently working on a project with Modelio, what I like about Modelio, is that its interface can be adapted to my needs, thanks to its workbenches feature, Modelio provides an organized and efficient interface, with the proper tools at the proper location, the default workbench brings an extensive interface with multiple views and model parts. I am currently working in a Java context, so I activate the Java workbench which brings the Java environment. But this goes even further, I can also create my own interface. I now want to change the interface to focus on both UML and analysis. I go to configuration, preferences, and workbenches configuration. Then I create a new workbench. And I select the UML and analyst expertise to activate them in my workbench. Now I select my workbench, and I get my own custom interface, with my analyst model here, and the UML one here. This class shows a generalization link, associations, and specific Java element imports. Those links are rendered in a dedicated view of Modelio, called the Links Editor. For more comfort, I can freeze the Links Editor on the browser class. This way, it remains selected even when I click somewhere else. And then, by clicking on the proper button, I can display its generalizations, associations, or element imports. But I can also show several types of links at once, by creating my own view. To do so, I will create a user configuration. I can set a name. I can add or remove downstream or upstream depth levels, and change the layout orientation. I want to display all the Java related links, associations, element imports, element realization, and generalizations. All the changes have been applied in real time. Now, with my own configuration activated, I see all the Java links. So, I was about to work on the browser class. That reminds me that I've already described it in a review note a few days ago. Well, that document actually belongs here where I'll be able to find it when I need to. This is Modelio's document view. It contains everything that helps understanding the model. At this time, it contains these diagrams. I'm going to enrich it with the review notes document from the last design meeting. To do so, I just need to create an embedded document. I set its name, Design Review Notes 2017-1002. Its category is, design, and it's a Word document. Now I initiate the embedded document with my review notes. OK. Now the design review notes document is an actual part of the model. And I can edit it directly in Modelio. I make a simple change and save the modification. By the way, our wiki would also help a lot here, since it also describes what this element is supposed to do. Obviously, I can't embed it in here since the team keep updating it. Good for me, I can simply add it as an external reference. This way I can access it from the model. Just like a web browser bookmark. To do so, I just need to attach an external document. Then I enter its name. Category is specification here. And I enter the wiki's URL. Now, 
All the documents I need are one click away, and I'll never have to look for them anywhere else. In this diagram, I want to highlight this class to make it more visible. For more convenience, I switch the perspective to diagram. I want to change its colors. To do so, I open a symbol view which is available directly in the diagram. For example, I change the line color and the fill color. Now, I want to hide its operations. I just need to disable the show option for operations. These settings suit me well. I'm going to save them as a diagram theme so I can use them in the future. The graphical theme of a diagram is indicated here. Several beauty and themes are available to change the overall look of diagrams. I can use the modified style of my class to update the theme of the diagram. This way, the new colors will become the default ones for classes in the future. To do so, I select the modified class and click on the update theme button, it will update the current theme of the diagram. You can see that the modifications are immediately applied to the other classes, as their style is based on the diagram theme I just updated. Now, I create another diagram. As you can see, it uses the same theme as my other diagram. As I create new classes in this diagram, you can see that the modifications made to the theme are also visible here. Existing diagrams who have the same theme are automatically updated. I can also create my own theme, thanks to the Diagram Theme Editor. This is the list of existing diagram themes. Let's create a new theme. I enter its name. Then I select the theme on which the new one will be based. Now I am going to change graphic options for classes. The font color for example. When I'm done, I save the modifications and close the editor. The new theme can then be applied to my diagram. I changed themes. And here is the result. My new theme is operational. My boss just asked me to have a look at another Modelio project I also work on. I need to close my current project. It's okay to me, because I know I will find my GUI configuration when I come back to this one. I open the same project. See how Modelio has saved my workbench. and even my search history, like I'd never left. What a time saver. This is a BPMN project I've been assigned to. I will create a BPMN collaboration diagram to show how different processes interact with each other. I create the collaboration diagram under the pizza vendor process in the model browser view. In the collaboration diagram, the pizza vendor process is automatically shown as a local participant. I will unmask the other process I want to show in this diagram. To do so, I drag and drop the pizza customer process into my collaboration diagram. The pizza customer process appears as a reference participant. Now I can draw the message flows between the participants. Now I will complete the collaboration diagram by adding the whole payment process. First I'm going to add a payment task to the pizza customer process. 
The pizza customer participant is the referenced one, so it needs to be edited in its own diagram. First I insert a payment task in this flow. Then I go back to the collaboration diagram. I can modify the pizza vendor process directly in the collaboration diagram because it's a local participant. I create a flow and a new task at once by hitting the control key while I draw the flow. Then I select the type of node I want to create at the end of the flow. I name it, receive payment. Then I proceed the same way to create the end event of the process. Now I can create message flows between the pay and receive payment tasks. I'm almost done. I will just add a new participant to represent the customer's bank. The bank participant contains an external process. I don't need to detail its content. It is present only so I can show its interactions with my internal and embedded participants. I create two messages to and from the bank process. And that's it for this collaboration diagram. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.